Jealous of the birds for the way they fly, but I still got wheels under my seat. Try to understand the words on a sign when letters rearrange at each bus stop. I've traveled half a world in a couple of miles. I've been riding again. Back in places I'm certain that I've always been. Must be the shape that I'm in. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what it is. And it's you I believe in. Damn, when you see well, the definition of Americana seems different to everybody, but to me, it is 100% timeless music and appreciation for songs and songwriting and uh, wanting to keep that kind of the old-timey spirit alive. It's a pretty broad broad thing I suppose. I would imagine most bands probably say the same thing which is that they just make music and people can call it what they like. Well, a broad church I suppose um, from sort of soul R&B stuff to shit kicking cow punk. It's not quite country, it's, it's not quite acoustic, it's somewhere in the middle, it blends all of like country, blues, and it just mashes them all together just to make this one great sound. It may be rough, but it made me strong and tough, so I'll head to Music City. of of soul and folk and country and I think because it's so diverse it brings together all kinds of people and it keeps us interested for longer and it's a little bit more fun and it comes with this kind of validation that you know people are kind of going to be good so the first time I was called Americana uh, I laughed because I didn't know what it was um, and then I started to to look around and see artists who were being included in in the Americana genre and I was like oh hell yeah I will wear that badge with pride and honor it's absolutely what you live for and it's like it's the second best feeling in the world I think there's a sincerity to it. It's, it's timeless. To me, it's rock and roll. I think the Rolling Stones were Americana, you know what I mean? If you listen to like Far Away Eyes or anything off of Exile. Americana is probably the great DIY music, I think, now. The technology doesn't get in the way of the art. Its roots, really, are, I mean, alternative country, so country music that wasn't getting played on mainstream formats but but there's always been an element to for for me of folk with americana and i think it, it wasn't a coincidence that billboards used to group together americana with folk as opposed to country and i think that the thread certainly in terms of the stories behind some of the songs and its roots are very much connected with that for me I would think, oh, it's everything American roots or whatever that is between country to even down to some parts of jazz and blues. But <clears throat> being here has made me realize more and more because I've stepped outside of my ethnocentric state and I've realized that, <clears throat> well, a lot of what we have there started here. And so what's happened is it kind of started here, the folk traditions, and then it moved over there. We did a bunch of shit with it and then it started to come back. And what's really, really neat is to see how it's coming back here and developing here in the UK. I'm a rattlesnake, I made a chloroform. I'm a burning bush, I'm a summer storm. I can take your life, don't you blow your heart. I always feel like um, Anderson East said it best. He said that um, Americana is an orphanage for uh, artists that feel like they don't have a, a home. Um, and I really like that because I think it's true. I think it... It encompasses so much, like so many different genres, and I think it genres can become so contrived and so strange when people ask you what you do, and you don't want to just kind of go, "Oh, I'm I'm a country artist or I'm a soul artist," but Americana allows you to encompass all those inspirations. <laughs> Oh, 
Although, Kenneth, you said something nice the other day, which is uh, it might be more useful to define Americana by its listenership than by the musicians who are considered Americana, especially when an American band like ours comes to the UK, as we've just done for this past week, and we find out that actually there's a, a really similar and in some cases a lot stronger interest in this kind of music, whatever it is, uh, but it feels like the the communities that gather around this music kind of do it for the same reasons and in the same ways and have a lot in common with each other. So whether that means they've come to a Milk Carton Kids concert or a Kebmo concert or a Jade Bird concert, um, it seems like the audience has maybe more in common uh, with itself than, than the musicians even do. I think it's probably the most supportive genre you could go into. I really do. I think, um, you know, I, I t I've tended to find that with uh, particularly this kind of acoustic folk music, um, but especially with Americana, I don't know what it is. There's just a very uh, close-knit community and everyone kind of knows everyone else and supports everyone else and lifts them up. There's no egos, there's no competition. Everyone's there just to make good music. So I think it's really important that it's open and it's it's a place that anyone can be a part of. The best thing about sort of being in a band that's welcomed by a community like the Americana community is that um, you make lots of friends and you you see them in different towns and different festivals across the year. So it's 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 really lovely. It's good and the music's good. <laughs> community of people who at the end of the day yeah just love to see music to support music and to just be around and the that old triangle oh, jingle jangle oh 